Hello everyone, Senpai here, back in Undertale. Yes, I know, yes I know, it's so good. Today we are supposed to go talk to Und- Get out of here, mouse. Talk to Undyne, hello, ice cream guy. Can I have more, please? <laughs> you dick. Alright, no, that's the wrong way, alright. So today, I have a couple of things on our- Wrong way again. On our agenda. One of which is to go apparently visit Undyne, whom is at Papyrus's house. Please select location. Please get me to left floor one. Thank you. But, I need to go ahead and go check with Undyne, check her out, see what's going on. That's the wrong way. It's been a while since I played this game. I apologize. River lady. I don't know if you're a lady or a dude. What do you expect? You expect me to check under the dress? Is that it? Snowden, please, thank you. We're off. Let's go. This lady's taking me on a trip on a boat. Wee lily lily lily. Ha ha. Tra la la. <laughs> I should have worn a few more pairs of pants. Why? It's warm. At least here it is. Oh, well, we are in snow. I guess it makes sense. Whatever. Just. Thank you for the ride. I will come again. Don't worry. You're the fast travel system. Why would I... Wrong way. That's the wolf. I want to go this way. I need to go this way because Papyrus... There's Undyne. Hey, I'm going to talk to Papyrus first. It seems Undyne has something for you. She's the person, not me. <laughs> Alright. Talk to you again. Nope, same thing, darn. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Oh. Um. Dimensional box B? Uh, dog residue. Okay. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter. Okay. To Dr. Alphys. Yeah, sure. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Because I'm shy, of course. Uh, oh my god, that face. Well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so just fucking do it. I'll tell you. Oh, Hotland sucks. <laughs> so here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. I need to read it now. I'm going to go find a save point. I need to read the letter. I need to read the letter. I'm gonna go back to Hotland. I need to go to Hotland. Thank you. Go boat, go! Yes. Dude, this boat's so fast. Tra la la, eat mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Yeah, good question. I thought it was eating an apple a day keeps the doctor away. A lot of mushrooms are poisonous, so I think if you ate a mushroom every day, you would probably go see the doctor every day. Okay. Save. Maybe if you check the lab door, you can slide it under. Ah. Ah. I can't even do it. Yeah, sure. Slide it. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Can I not run away? Uh, oh, n no. Is that another letter? I, I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? N no. I can't keep doing this. I'll, I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? <laughs> How can you shut a letter strongly? Wait a second. Was that a fucking laser? Oh, okay, hi. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Sup? Oh my god. D did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. <laughs> and I had no idea you... Um, wrote that way. It's surprisingly to... After all that gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. 
Much less, um... This. What the fuck was on that le Was that a love letter? And so pa Oh my god. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. That's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a god. Dating start. <laughs> you know, wh what did I expect? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Okay. Neat. Well, at least you look nice. You, you look nice. My friend helped me pick out the dress. Aw. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey. Hey, wait. Actually, we, we still can't start the date yet. Dating. Stop. <laughs> um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistics first. <laughs> That'll increase the chance of a successful... <laughs> oh my god, she's going dating soon. <laughs> Right? Anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for it. <laughs> First, I've got some metal armor polish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, maybe you can't use that. Yeah. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. If you wanted to date Undyne, just fucking tell her, jeez. Uh, well, uh, how about this magical spear repair kit? <laughs> really? Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating. Start. Finally? Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Wanna go for a walk? Watch a movie? Cuddle? Grab a bite? Uh, I can't do anything. I'm literally just standing here. Do you like anime? Yes, I do. H hey, me too. H hey, let's, let's go somewhere. Where's the where's where's good, where's good place to go? Oh, well, there's a nice cafe. We can also go to Grillby's. Grillby's is cool. I've got it. Let's go to the... All right. I guess. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see you on me on a date with you. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no! Here she comes. Hey. There you are! I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. I already gave it to her. Huh? You don't have it? Nah! Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Yeah. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Okay, bye. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other... <laughs> yes, we get it. You are the lizard that loves the fish. I, I just figured, you, you know, it, it'd be fun to go on, like, a date, kind of, pretend date with you, to make you feel, but that's fine, I don't care. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I, I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. That's okay. But, I mean, she's way out of my... No, she's not. Good. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but... Uh, Undyne is... She's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. Aw, oh, that's so sad. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. W what should I do? Tell her the truth. Honesty is the important. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? 
They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. Nobody really does. Everyone always thinks that there's something fucked up about them and wrong, and it's false. You are you. There's not a ding dong damn thing about it that should be changed. Unless you kill people. That's bad. Bad. I'd, I'd really rather just beat whatever pe makes people like me. No, bad. <laughs> Aw, look how sad she is. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn their truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Roleplay. Yes. That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay. Okay, which one of us will be on nine? Sure, I'll be on nine. Oh, right. Obviously. Ahem. <laughs> what the hell is this? Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You are cute. <laughs> Thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. Oh, my God. But I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> uh... So, I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Oh my god, this is... Then she kisses you. Oh my god. Uh, what? A nine would never... Uh... <laughs> I kiss her back. So... Oh my god. I, I, look... <laughs> I look gently into her eyes. I start... Oh my god, this is great. A nine, oh my god. Undyne! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, what did you just say? Undyne's face. Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? No. Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would be my reaction, too. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. The fucking look on her face, dude. Undyne. What? Ab about what? About, well, everything. I told you about s that seaweed was like science, but it really was just made of ice cream. And those human history books I kept reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was... I was actually eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. <laughs> Elfies. Damn. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Aw, look, there's still love. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Aww. Shh. Shh. And then she snapped her neck. Oh my god. Alfies! <laughs> I think you're neat too, I get. Oh my god. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching. You just dunked. She just fucking dunked Alfie's in the trash can. <laughs> or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what. You care about it. 100% maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. I am so happy about that. Good job, on 9 Alfie, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training that you need to do that. Trashies, huh? Undyne, you, you're gonna train me? Oh my god, look at the blushing in the hearts and the eyes. What? Me? Freaking Papyrus! <laughs> I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Sup? <laughs> get those bones shaking! 
It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. <laughs> Undying, oh my gosh. I'll do my best. <laughs> oh. oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Totally. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords! Magical princesses! <laughs> Here I come! <laughs> uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. <laughs> I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to go and get better for her. Well, well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Bye. Where the hell am I? Oh, I, oh, I, I know where this is. Very beginning of the trash. Poor great. I'm clear back here. I wonder if there's still astronaut food. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. Hey, I turned into Alfie's. Oh my gosh, guys. That was... Was this? No, this one. This is where the astronaut food was. Aw. What is this? No, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. Howdy. Why, why did I do that? If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alephis and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. It was a hundred laps. Holy crap. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay. Alright. Go to Alphys' house. Got it. Okay. Neat. Alright. I guess it was here, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Ride in the boat. No. No, I'll be back. The water is very dry today. The water is dry. Okay. I, 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 I get, like, I don't know what to say to that. Okay. Apparently, apparently the water is dry. All right, let's go to Alfie's lab. Hey, it opened. All right, what's going on? Hey, it's me. Creepy. Can I take another ramen now? I can't. Here's the hole. Alright. Oh. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Yes, let's read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, it's like my handwriting. Terrible. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it says to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, Enter the door to the north of this note. The bathroom? And I'll at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. I know I didn't read it as Alfie, so I was reading it in my terrible commentator voice. It's an elevator. Neat. Oh my god. Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. EM tethered stability lost. Altitude dropping. Well, damn. And I'm dead. Great. I died. Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, well, yes, the elevator doesn't work. Shit. <laughs> this isn't good. Huh? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free a soul. I will unleash the power of the soul. Neat. Entry number two. 
The barrier is locked by soul power. Soul power, no. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides, being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Maybe if they had some determination! I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Oh my god, I was... Called it. Determination. I win. Save point. What's this? Buy chips for 20... I can buy chips? Hell yeah. What's this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Okay, so I guess I need to find keys? I don't know. Flip switches. Entry number six. Asgor asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose and soon they'll all turn into dust. What happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Neat. Science. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get their souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Hmm. Is that all of them? Eh. What is this? Sink? Turn on the- I can turn on the sinks! What about the- Oh god! Is that a go? Oh my god! You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the- Oh, okay. I thought it was just gonna be Ghosty Goose. Come join the foe god. Oh god. Expanding Ghosty Goose. Expanding Ghosty Goose. Ouch. Oh, memory head. Join, join, sure. It's a it's real, real get together. I joined the fun. No, thank you. Dora may seem to it. Oh, all right. Okay, bye. I'm gonna turn them all on. There we go. What is this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. There's all you could. Oh, you dropped in the drain. Oh, it's right there. Uh huh. Click. The red key fits perfectly. Yay, red key. Uh huh. I did it. I already read you. Go away. Bink. Alright, neat. Alright, red key has thing. Woohoo. I already read you. Red door. Ooh, what do you say? Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Alright. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Neat! What are you? An empty dog food bowl. Okay. What is this? A plant. Fake plant. Clock is broken. What do you say? Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. Neat. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. 
I thought they were goners. Neat. Good job, Alfies. Is this another key? No. What about this way? Is there another key this way? Oh god, yellow flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. Oh god, no. Just as humans cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Oh god, Alfie's created Flowey. Experience on the vessels are a failure. Okay. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Good. Oh my god, my speech bubble. Really? The speech bubble? You are a creepy looking bird thing. Clean? You wash your hands, nothing happened. Well, I'm afraid so. That, okay. Mystify. That was a last look. Okay, that's creepy. Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Remembers its consciousness. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. What the fuck? Hum? Hum a familiar tomb, but no one heard you. That's a choice. What the fuck? Pick on! Reaper bird! Someone finally gets it! Ribbit, ribbit, courage! Oh my god, it's throwing its head at me! That's friggin' creepy! Stop it! Okay, mercy, go away. <sighs> Junk food, thank you. There's no, you can't make it all out. Cold. That's all. Is it in a fridge? Freezer? What? No, none of the mirrors do anything. This is interesting. Okay. I guess we continue on. What do you say? Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore. Returned the vessel to his garden. And I call all the fuck you did make flowery. And told them everyone's alive. Send everyone back tomorrow. Yay! No, 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 no. Oh, God, something went wrong. Well, that's all said. All right. Um. You can go back faster than f I. Wee! Run, 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 run. Oh my god. Oh, you freaking dick. <laughs> Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Unhug? You love lemon bread for me. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Welcome to my special hell. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. I was not ready for that. Flex! You flexed your arm. Lemon bread's muscles shake. Do you think I'm pretty? Damn. Holy crap, lemon bread.
What the fuck? What the hell? Don't lose hope, I know. You killed me. Bill, stay determined. This place is freaky. Oh. Oh. Back there. Alright. Sweet. I guess it doesn't start us all the way back over. Let's go this way then. I went in here already, right? No? Alright, so it did it before this. You know, it looks like an earthworm. Okay, thank you. Bye. Alright. Let's go in here. Yellow yeah, key. Okay. There's no only ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. Okay, so it's under one of the sheets. There's a bunch of VHS and some of them are cartoons. There's a bunch of VHS and some of them cartoons. Should be alpha and the same for a few stray sticky. Oh my god. Enter number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. VHS player beside a few tapes. Uh, as soon as the label was like, what do you want? Do you watch one? Sure, sure, tape one. Psst, Gory, wake up. Mmm, what is it, dear? Erm, um, and why do you have that video camera? Shh, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? A chill wow wah Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a mammarian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you would keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous mommedian. Well, if I'm going to bed... Hey, come on, Tori. <laughs> that one was funny. <laughs> Jeez. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to make out. Yeah, it is a bit dark. Okay, tape two. Okay, Bill, are you ready? No. Do your creepy face. Ah, hee <laughs> hee Oh wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is interesting. Howdy, Bill. Smile for the camera. Ha, <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad we made Mom really upset. I should have la should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera. Okay. Okay. Four? Watch five is going to be, like, heavy. I, I don't like this idea, Bill. W what? N no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Bill. Never. Are we going, oh, oh, are we, um, experimenting? Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free ever. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll go get the flowers. Uh -huh. Bill, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Bill, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Bill, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I... I... No, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. 
six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Dude! There's no more. Ugh. Oh, that's so... I don't, uh, fine. I'll do it. Jeez. You're, you're creepy. Scream! You scream now, but nobody came. Welcome to my special hell. Huh? Oh god. I didn't re I didn't raise my speed stat enough for this. Cry. You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. That's what they all say. Oh god. Huh? Ah. Huh? <laughs> Smells like sweet lemons. Hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Stay here with me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any junk food. But nobody came. Take the one shot. Get away. Flex. Stay here with me. Uh huh. Smells like sweet lemons. Can I please have another junk food? But nobody came. You are fucking creepy. You hear the melody of pulsating flesh. Call. You called for help, but nobody came. That's what they all say. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Smells like sweet lemons. It's like, oh. Unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I've felt this before. Take the one. Get away from the rest. Ow. Could this be a good. Ah, spare. You won. Earn money. Item. Junk food. Eat. Go. Now. Thank you. What is this? It won't, let me t it won't even let me look at it. What are you? You look like. DT Extraction Machine. Status inactive. Determination Extraction Machine, huh? There's something here. Something in the shape of a man. There's something here. It feels like something is breathing. Some sort of cold rectangular object. Okay. Oh. There's none on the ground, you can't make it out. Curtain. It's like, oh yeah, that's where I got the curtain on. Okay. Okay. I guess. So there's probably screens in there, and I think I have to get, like, one of the other keys before I can do that. Everything's still fine here. Let's go back to that bedroom, because there was something that said sheets. And that is something we would want to check out. Yes, check it out. Ooh, a key. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Okay, yellow key was over here. How do fan? Uh, is that to the right? I haven't gone right yet. I'll go ahead and put this key in and then I'll check it out. Yellow key. I'm not going low key, I'm going yellow key. Alright, let's go to the right and check that out because there might be something to help me. I don't know. I'm hoping there's something to get this stuff out of that room. Maybe there's more monsters. I don't know. Now that Metatone's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Oh, that's sad. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Probably because it has muscles. 
I'm ready. Uh, there's something gonna happen. Press it? Yes, press the button. I did it! Oh god! Unpress the button. Unpress the button. Oh god. It's a doge. Hi, doge. It's the amalgamate. Beckon. You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orif. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Pet? You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Zzz, suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Striking the wall with its claws. Play? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Oh my god. Doge, it's okay. It's okay, Doge. You're a good Doge. Now pet it. You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a strange eye happiness froth. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> you pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by it. Are those cats or dogs? And Dogi and Dogini and and Dogin is contented. You won. Zero. Okay. Okay. It looked like a doge, and I petted it, and then it was a doge, and then I won. Everyone wins. I'm happy. Okay. I'm, I'm happy, I suppose. I don't understand what exactly the hell that was, but I, I will accept it. Let, let's go. Let, let's, let's, just, let's just leave. <laughs> ah, here it is. The refrigerator. It's empty. Contains samples. What are you? Enter number 20. Asgore left me five messages. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Okay. Enter number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Alright, I'll open you fine. Then why is it shaking? It seems to contain samples. Oh my god, you trap. Hi. Okay. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha <laughs> ha, I remember. It's so cold. Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. So cold. Told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. Oh, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad that helps, you know? Can I push you? Because you're shaking. Okay, bye. Well, I got the green key. I got the yellow key. Is this the blue key? No. Where do I put the blue key? I got the blue key. Oh, yeah, it was off to the right. In the room down here. Right? Yep, the evil flower douchebag room. Found it. It said it's cold, refrigerators, makes sense, whatever. Got it. Woo, let's go. Let's go to the power room. Power room time, let's buy some chips while we're there, because I'm hungry. Speaking of hungry, I'm actually kind of hungry right now, you know? Yeah, we're going to finish it after we go into the power room. I saw that. You, you, you took off covers on your own. 
That is creepy. So let's go ahead and let's get to the power room. Let's poke our heads into the power room and then see what's going on. After we buy a bag of chips. I need like three chips. Thank you. Um. Uh, what? Seems to be turned off. Wait, is this a power thing? What are you? Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Oh, okay. I was just like, is this where I turn on the power? Interesting. Oh, this doesn't look like a trap. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Here, let's go ahead and flip it. It has a little heart on it. It's, it's my heart. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. No, please. No. <laughs> hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? Oh. Oh, they were just hungry. <laughs> okay. S sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, uh, but it seems like you were on one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came back here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back, but that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth, that I might run away or do something. Cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I d called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to make to take the concentration of determination. Are you calling us fat? Their bodies started to melt and lost that physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, hard. Being, honest, being honest, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. A lesson of life. Come on, it's time to feed. Go. It's time for everyone to go home. Aww. Power has been turned on. Okay. Hey, neat. Can I read you now? Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I told wanted to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Oh god. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Ah. Bring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Bill, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Bill, see you soon. Oh god. Oh god. No. No, I haven't even saved yet. No. Bad. Oh. The door is jammed shut with- oh shit. Oh, oh god, there's no save point there. Um, yeah. Um. Sons, there's- there, your save point's gone. Sons. Your save point's gone. Sans? Help me? Um. 
Um, are the souls still here? Please tell me the souls are still here. Please. Please tell me the souls are still here. If not, I am going to start shitting bricks now. Okay. The souls are still here. We're fine. We're fine. We're f everything's good. It's all Gucci. All Gucci. Everything's fine. I'm pretty sure I'm about to shit bricks in this fight, so... I think... Please have a checkpoint. Please have a save point. Please have a save point. Please have a save point. Thank God. I hope you all have a fantastic night, evening, whatever it may be if you're out there. I'm gonna go ahead and record this later. I am not emotionally... I am not emotionally prepared for this. So anyway, goodbye everybody. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Bill. Bill? Bill, what are you doing? Bill. Toriel! Nope, still nothing. Bye everybody!